In 1976, the tanker Sansonina exploded in Los Angeles. The resultant shockwave literally blew the ship apart, and it shattered windows on houses over 20 miles away. How, then, do modern tankers carrying thousands of tons of flammable fuel not just explode in the same way the Sansonina did in the 1970s? To answer that, we need to know a little behind the science of burning hydrocarbons. We all know that burning is just the process of a fuel reacting with oxygen and giving off heat. Obviously, in our case, the fuel source we're talking about is the cargo that's carried, and the oxygen is in the air. Let's assume we're just carrying a random hydrocarbon fuel in this tank, and it's a liquid at atmospheric pressures and temperatures. The liquid itself doesn't burn. That's kind of obvious if we think about it. There's no oxygen within the liquid itself. It's only actually the vapours that burn. As fuel evaporates off the surface, it mixes with the oxygen in the air, and then it just takes a heat source to ignite. The exact proportion of fuel vapour to air needed to catch light does vary, but we can represent that on a flammability diagram. 